Well, hi ho there. It's a beautiful evening at the airport. Winds are calm, the sky is overcast, but whatever. And check out that new prop on the beaver. If you look closely at the Chinook, you'll see that the Chinook has no prop. <laughs> Sorry, Owen, I stole your prop. I want to uh, test a three blade prop before I buy a three blade prop. So I've been getting a little bit more vibration than I like and I thought maybe I would try a three blade prop because a lot of people say a three blade prop will reduce the vibration on a pusher style airplane. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. So anyway, let's fire this puppy up, do a couple circuits and uh, we'll compare and contrast. So I have footage from last night's flight and uh, it, there's vibration and stuff in the camera and you can see the fuel bouncing around in the fuel tank. So we'll kind of use those as our metric, dis metric, rubric, measuring stick, I don't know, whatever the right word is there. And uh, compare and contrast, see which one's better. So if a three blade prop is better, I'll go ahead and buy a three blade hub and an extra blade for my warp drive. You're not really supposed to run a three blade on a B-Box, but speaking to some experts, I use rabbit ears because I don't know why, I think they actually are experts. But uh, they said that running a three blade warp drive on a B-Box will wear it out sooner. But you just simply rebuild it a bit more often. It doesn't wreck anything. It doesn't, not going to cause any sort of catastrophic failure or anything. It's just going to wear out the box faster. And the parts that need to be replaced are affordable and plentiful. So I will just, uh, if, if I decide, if, to go with a three blade prop. I'll just simply rebuild my, my B gearbox every now and then, and that'll be that. So, enough jibber jabber. Let's make the engine make some noise and uh, go flying.
Well, I'm going to wrap this up before it gets too dark. Um, I only got 4,800 RPM at full throttle. And I have the same engine as Owen. They're both 582s. And he's getting, um, I think he said 5,500 RPM. And I'm getting 48. I don't know what I just said a second ago. It doesn't feel like I said 48. I got 4,800 RPM on my takeoff roll at full throttle. It doesn't seem right. Uh, it's obviously not right. But why is he getting so much more RPM than I am at full throttle? There, there, have, there are some 582s out there that only put out 55 or 56 horsepower. I wonder if that's one of them. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some digging and figure it out. Um, that being said, I went from 9 degrees of pitch to 12 degrees of pitch on my two blade, so that's a significant increase in pitch. And I got a significant, significant increase in climb performance, so I don't understand... Well, unless my 503 was just that worn out and not putting out full horsepower. And so this is what a 503 plus five extra horsepower would feel like. I don't know. I'm confused. I gotta, uh, I gotta talk to some people and see what's going on. Anyway, um, not to worry. Uh, initial results indicate that it's much smoother with a three blade prop. So I may go ahead and, uh, and do a three blade prop. I know I didn't get full throttle, but even at those RPMs, it was much smoother than, uh, than a two blade. So. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, something good happens out of this. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to put the planes away, change the props back, and, uh, and, and call it a night. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will keep you updated as to what is going on, and um, we'll figure this out together. So in the meantime, um, say, 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 say bye, Dave. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here.